veterans of the Battle of Long Tan have come to the end of another drawn-out campaign. They finally won recognition for one of the most decisive victories of the Vietnam War. It was the dawn of a new day for Long Tan veterans when they gathered this morning in Canberra to remember the 18 dead and 24 wounded from Delta Company 6th RAR. 108 young soldiers thought they were out on a routine mop-up mission when they were suddenly surrounded and pounded in a rubber plantation near their task force base. Just by the volume of fire, we knew that there wasn't just a couple of them. There was a lot. Three platoons in D Company held off a force 20 times their size and set an indelible benchmark for courage in a new and treacherous kind of conflict. They'd been honoured immediately by the South Vietnamese and the US for gallantry, but they waited 45 years to hear it at home. You were strong and you were brave. Missing today was Delta Company's leader, Lieutenant Colonel Harry Smith, who campaigned for decades to have his men recognised. Harry Smith has fought long and hard for this company. Um, he really has. And um, we, uh, as a whole, as a company, we owe him much. Platoon leader Dave Sabin accepted his company's rare unit citation for gallantry, the award some veterans thought they'd never get. Justice is done, and, uh, and we're not bitter about the wait. We're, we're so gratified that it is... Uh, it's a closed page now. The anniversary of Long Tan has long been celebrated as Vietnam Veterans Day. Recognition that Long Tan was their Gallipoli, their Kokoda. I earned that award, there's absolutely no doubt about it. Yes, I should have been awarded straight away. But some veterans think they paid too high a price. We traded in an instant to have those boys back with us. We still remember them, I can still remember their faces. Now their place in history is exalted. Karen Berkman, ABC News.